After the Prime Minister made his announcement, within 24 hours we had stood up our project management office. We actually picked the people that we needed, the right people, and got them in very quickly to start our planning. In Australia, in, 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 throughout the West, period, in anyone who went to these areas and then came back home, there would be always be the risk that they would bring that virus home. I'm lucky enough to live in Australia um, and be have, have the skills, and uh, have been given the skills and taught the skills to be able to go over there and help. Um, I, so I believe it's the right thing to do. No one's sort of said, you're bloody stupid. Um, you know, they might think that, but at least they've been polite enough not to tell me. <laughs> L'Afrique est pleine de tristesse de voir nos familles mourir. Ne touchons pas nos malades, ne touchons pas nos mourants. Tout le monde est en danger, les jeunes et les anciens. Il faut agir pour nos familles. Some of the team have gone on to Calhoun to stay at the MSF Ebola Treatment Center and get some real-time experience in the red zone. The rest of us have come back to Freetown. We're going to start to set up our own Ebola Treatment Center and to start to train the uh, national staff. The momentum of this mission is beginning to accelerate. It's getting ex exciting. It's getting more challenging. Let's see what happens in the next week. Come a hell of a long way in the last couple of weeks. We are, I think it's a great relief for all of us to be opening now. We, we are incredibly excited, just a little bit nervous. It's going to be a great day. I think that our contribution and the contribution of the Australian government has been significant. There's 35 survivors, but it's it's beyond that. There's the, the you know we've had a, a large number of deaths. I'm very confident that the way that we've managed people, as well as as treating them with with uh, dignity and uh, and assisting them die in, in comfort, uh, where where we've had to do that, we've also stopped those people from infecting other people. One contact, one death can result in another 50 infections. So there are countless people that I believe we've stopped from, uh, from contracting Ebola. Ebola just has a way of, of, I don't know, making the children even sicker. I mean, we've had some great miracles here. We've had two children, four years of age, that have survived, which, you know, I attribute to good care. Um, and maybe a bit of luck, but good care. I've, um, I've developed my own little techniques to try and um, deconstruct you know, the, the, the emotional traumas. We're very fortunate that Aspen have been very supportive in, uh, in our support. Uh, we have a mental health nurse w with us. Um, we have access to an independent uh, counsellor should we need it. Since we've been here, we've refined our PPE or personal protective equipment so that now we are super safe. Um, I think everybody going in here, probably the safest place that we feel is when we're fully in PPE and we're going in there. And, and you'll, if you ask around the staff, you'll say they all feel safe. There, there are a significant number of components that come together um, so that we can deliver healthcare. Uh, and it's, it's everything um, that you can think of. Uh, so uh, it's, it's about making sure that we have the right sort of PPE, uh, whether it's you know, face masks or gloves, they need to be here. So there's the whole logistics component to it. It's making sure we can get uh, our staff to site. So it's about having a fleet of vehicles, managing those vehicles the right place, the right time, making sure that they're serviced. It's about our national staff, 
So working with that agency to get the right skill mix, uh, to train people up, uh, to have them here again on time, to feed people on site. Uh, you, you know, in February we were ag averaging over 600 meals a day. It is absolutely about that synchronisation um, to set the conditions um, to look after people uh, that really need help right now. I must admit that when we started, I think everybody was anxious. You know, are we ready? Are we really? Um, are we really? Can we really cope? And I can say, in retrospect that um, we have just come such a long way that we were ready, that we couldn't have done really much more than, than we could at the time. But we've come such a long way in that, in, uh, in learning uh, about Ebola, in gaining experience on, on, on Ebola, and, uh, and just being well supported by Aspen. So that has been a wonderful process. And now where we are is, uh, is so much higher.